There's three technologies. I'm going to announce three more technologies in the next few minutes. First, I'm going to announce the largest GPU and the most powerful GPU we have ever built. Much, 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 much more powerful than Kepler. Two, I'm going to announce a GPU that is so small that we could put it inside an iPad. And three, I want to announce a GPU that we can all simultaneously share. Three new technologies. Today, we're going to take the GPU into the cloud. This is an endeavor we've been working on for five years. Engineers from all over our company working in small pieces, and finally we've been able to put it all together. We're going to put the GPU into the cloud. And what does that mean? Well, Kepler, turns out, has even more secrets than we thought. Kepler is the world's first GPU designed for the cloud. Kepler is the world's first GPU we can deploy into cloud data centers all over the world. There are three capabilities of Kepler that's important to make this possible. The first is virtualized GPU. A CPU is virtualized but a GPU is dedicated. One application, one GPU. One user, one GPU. For the first time, we have virtualized the GPU. Second, no longer does this GPU need to directly connect to a display. It doesn't have to connect to DVI or HDMI. It doesn't have to connect to LVDS. None of those physical connections to a display is necessary. Starting now, Kepler, could render and stream instantaneously right out of the chip to a remote location you choose. And third, Kepler, with this energy efficiency, allows us to deploy Kepler in a massive scale so that we could literally drive entire data centers to it. We could put Kepler finally in the cloud. At the core of the technology is this invention, virtualizing GPU. Whereas the CPU has an MMU, virtual addresses come in, goes through the MMU, looks it up, gives you the page table entry, tells you what the virtual, the physical address translation is. It does it very, very quickly, every single clock cycle. In the case of Kepler, we do the same for graphics commands for the very first time. Whereas we had many physical input command buffers, every one of those command buffers are now virtualized. Every single one of those graphics commands go through an MMU lookup and does a virtual to physical address translation. As a result of that, we can now tell, we can now discern, we can ascertain which virtual machine were to send us a graphics command. We would render the command from that particular virtual machine into the frame buffer of that virtual machine. And at the end of it, we would stream that frame buffer to that virtual machine.